Virgo, 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 Virgo. Thank you for coming to Cut Above Tarot. Once again, I thank you for the views. I thank you for the subscriptions. Uh, I ask that you please like and and share. And those that have not subscribed, I would be more than honored to have you as a subscriber. Okay, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and all placements, Venus. Um, we're doing a reading on who or what you may encounter, November the 24th, 2022. I have the energy oracle cards, the age romance. I have the regular tarot, and I also have some uh, sexual fortune cards. All right, I may go back, go over here, and also pull you some of the uh, homemade deck. All right, Virgo. After I pull your energy, you got the patient card and the heal of ages. The heal of ages cards speaks about um, getting a divine healing from uh, the Most High. Okay, this is coming in to you. You also got the patient card, and the patient card speaks of um, uh, you have uh, you're blocking your own blessings. Uh, you feel like the only way that you can get a bless a certain thing is if you continue to think in a single minded manner. But by you thinking that way, you're causing yourself not to be able to get your blessings because you're actually blocking them. Okay, there's more than one way that you can be blessed and be happy. And that's what they want you to do. They want you to, you know, have a little more patience, sit back, relax, uh, allow your mind to be at ease, open up and allow uh, the energy to just come through you. Okay, they said uh, they need you to be flexible. That's what they said. They want you to be flexible. All right. And they don't want you to continue to move with desperation towards a situation. So whatever it is that you want to come into your life that you feel like that will make you happy, it doesn't have to come just in one particular way. You you may think that the only way your happiness is going to come in is once you once you win the lottery or something, you get a million dollars. All right, and you think after that, then the perfect mate will come in for you. When there may not be nothing like that, it might be totally uh, the opposite. Your perfect mate may come first, and then you win the lottery, or or you may go and uh, open up a business, a small business, and it may become so fruitful that people start coming in and buying at the droves. And then next thing you know, you're selling shares and stuff to your business. And then you know it didn't got big. But while you're in the process of growing, you have met your person. Okay? So there's more than one way. You have more than one option when it comes to um becoming a happy person and that's what the divine wanted you to know uh you know it's okay you don't have to just keep thinking one way and, and thinking that's the only way that you can be blessed there's more ways you also got uh on your angel romance course you got forgiving and learning okay as you release and heal the past you release more love in your present moment all right so here we go. You're releasing your past and forgiving, right? And here it is. You're going to get a healing here. However, this is the ultimate healing, but you're still going to have to have some patience, okay? You're expecting things to happen one way, a certain way, the way that you designed it in your mind, Virgo. However, that's not what he wants. That's not what the divine wants, the universe wants. They want you to take time out and release it, Okay? And, and I will say this here, okay, but before I say that, look, past life relationship, you have known each other before. So you may have just ended a relationship with someone that was karmic or, uh, or was paying a debt or something, you know, and it caused you to be emotionally, mentally uh, damaged, and you need to be healed from that. You know, I, I really think that uh, when our heart get hurt or something like that, and we we do uh, experience mental, uh, uh, temporary mental illness due to our heart. I think uh, our energy also takes a hit 
you know, and our energy has to be healed. That's where the healing comes in, okay? Because we want to be back to our 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 self again, you know, upright, you know, can think straight and all of that good stuff and happy, you know, and yeah. But um, yeah. So your healing, yeah. Your relationship, yeah. Forgiven. Now you got. You have a, a seven of wands. These are your clarification cards. Seven of wands, right? Okay. There's a female here. She's standing her ground against the king of wands who got his eyes on her. He want her bad and a mofo. He want her so bad. He feel like that that's what he needs. He need her bad. He feel like this is the person that that are, that is everything that he want in his life. Now, this might be you, Virgo. Virgo, you feel like that once you get this particular person that you see this up high, you see this person up high, this person got a standard. This person got a standard, and you feel like that's the one that you need because uh, you see this person as marriage potential. See? You see this person as marriage potential. All right? In the manga deck, deck uh, yeah. Yeah. You see a marriage potential. Not only that, you want to move fast and forward with this person. You want this person fast. Mm-hmm. I have a... They also said that your money needs to be healed. So you're getting a healing in your money, your finances. When I clarify the, the heal of ages, okay, okay, um... It was clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, darling. The Eight of Pentacles. So, uh, the Eight of Pentacles in this one says you're paying attention to the details. Okay? So, you are paying attention to details. All right? The Seven of Wands in this deck say you're standing your ground. The King of Wands says that this is a father figure, somebody that's living like a father. This person may have children. Okay? The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups says this is harmony. You feel like this person is going to bring you harmony. But um, now I'm going to show you another one. I'm going to show you one more scenario after this. You got the Empress. And uh, this Empress says that she's beautiful and and she's at her best. She's, at a, she's, she's on top of her game. All right? And we got the Chariot that said there's forward momentum. Now... When I look at this again, I see this. All right. Check this out. Now, this uh, <laughs> ooh, this King of Wands got his eyes on this woman over here that he feel like his perfect match. She's of high status. He like the way she carry herself and all of that, right? And he feels like this, she going to be the one. She's the one for him to be happy with. However, this Empress over here, she looking over her shoulder. She looking back at at the King of Wands, all right? Now, I don't know what the heck going on, but this Empress sees this King as being uh, the one for her. It's like the King of Wands sees the Seven of Wands as high status and a high standards, and that's the one he wants because he feels like she's perfect. However, this Empress is seeing the same thing about this King of Wands. Yeah, she looking over, looking back at him. Mm-hmm. And she thinking that he also be be her happiness, unless it's just for I don't see no knocking boots, but maybe she feel like they he might be the one that can that can touch that good spot. That's what I'm saying right there. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, um, Virgo. Now, Virgo, you got the wheel of fortune. This is in the sex fortunes card. You got the wheel of fortune says that uh let me start from here. You're all right. The King of Flesh, which is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is, uh, all right, you enjoying yourself. Uh, you really enjoying yourself. Uh, you haven't even let this person know how much you really enjoy what they do to you and for you. Okay, so there's a person. This is for November the 24th, 2022. Uh, it might be wise to let people know how you feel about them and what they do for you, you know. Show your appreciation. But uh, it looks like you're the person that likes to sit back and enjoy all the good things, you know, but but you don't express it. 
you don't vocalize uh, how you feel about it. All right. You like to make sure that you're on top, that you you win in the game, if there's a game. All right. That uh, you're going to make sure that you you get everything goes your way. All right. What they say, my way or the highway, so to speak. All right. And you're not trying to lose at nothing. All right. Yep. You want to make sure that everything stay balanced and harmony. And uh, yeah. You got your eyes on, on somebody. Is this the same woman? Yeah. Oh, so Virgo, you got you got a woman that 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 you feel, that does everything for you. She and you enjoy everything she does for you. Okay, male or female. But you've never expressed it. Let them know, because for some reason you probably feeling inside there. If I let them know, then uh, uh you know, things going to change, but you don't know that, Virgo. A lot of people like to be told, you know, they're appreciated and it makes them do better or, or you know, it, it helps them to thrive. It makes them grow inside, even emotionally. Okay. All right. So you feel like you've met your match, which is this latest redhead over here. All right. This redhead. Now, the person that you with may not be a redhead, but I'm just saying. It might be somebody with brown hair, brunette, but it don't have to be that. But it's showing two different people here. You got one lady here with brown hair and another lady here with red hair. So uh, the one that gives you fellatio or cunnilingus at, at, at any time you feel like it, uh, that's the one that you don't express to how much you appreciate what this person does. Um, but this other person... Oh, you feel like this per other person is the shit. Virgo, is you married? Apparently you married, Virgo. And also, I got that this was a same-sex relationship. Okay? I got the seven of wands that was standing her ground against this uh, king of wands because she was trying to get... She's 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 with the uh, the empress over here. And the empress is the one that made her happy. I mean, they they, they happy together. They, now, this is what she want to play house with or, or, or have a relationship with, okay? And at the same time, you know what? I'm going to say this too. Uh, it's possible that this uh this king, this king was married. This king of wands was married or else had something going on with the seven of wands, and it didn't work out. Mm-hmm. Oh, she don't want it. Mm -hmm. She got a lot of passion, too, but she ain't sharing it with him. Okay, so this is a three-way love affair. He want her. She don't want him. She wants this other person over here, and that's what she's going toward. Mm-hmm. Right on. All right, Virgo. I almost got confused in this relationship, and this, and it, I almost got confused in this reading. Um... Uh, but uh, we're going to throw some homemade cards on this here to see what's going on. Somebody's egotistical. Somebody else would like to go Bible study. But they might only go to Bible study. Yeah, somebody else is a, goes to church. Somebody else goes to church. So this this uh, King of Wands is, is egotistical. And this other person, ooh, dang. Yeah, and there's seven of wands standing her ground and stuff. Okay, and somebody's somebody's extremely horny. You got the fireman here, or somebody likes to start a fire. All right, somebody operating in a low vibration. Okay, yep, there might be this king of wands we're talking about. Uh, the crawfish mentality. That's this lady over here. The crawfish mentality is like the seven of wands. Okay. So that's confirmation. This person right here, this person stands their ground and uh, at all times. And even as a crawfish, crawfish is stand their ground, although they're back in the F I of a out of a situation. Anything else you want to add to this uh reading for Virgo? Virgo, uh they say there's going to be a, some drinking going on on the 25th. I mean, 24th of, of November. Okay, you got a card on the floor. I'm going to pick it up last. 
what is the Virgo? Who or what Virgo may experience on November 24, 2024? Virgo. Okay, they say you might. Uh, A hoe. A hoe. But it came out whole Ella. That's a young hoe. Okay, so people say, what's the difference between a hoe and a prostitute? I'm glad you asked. A hoe do it for free. A prostitute gonna get paid. Your last call say a nurse. So Virgo, you might be going to see a nurse, or you got a nurse coming to see you, or or the nurse in your family that's coming by, you know, uh just for uh for pleasure. All right, Virgo. All right, I'm about to end this video. You got the longest video there, yeah, Virgo. The last card you got is somebody named that start with T H have T H in their name. Uh, 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 that may, uh, and it might be you. All right. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment again. Let me apologize for my outburst for the outburst in my background. I really am working on trying to get rid of. This is the second time I've redone your video, okay? I, I am working on rectifying this issue. All right? Thank you. Take care. Enjoy your turkey day.